morning, year two. Um, I'm going to go through one of your math skills with you this morning, and that is we're looking at addition and subtraction and how we can use that inverse to check that we have our answers correct and to work out what a missing number might be in a missing number problem. So I've got our, oops, here we go, our pathway here, and we're looking at this part here. Can you recall a related fact? So we're looking at fact families. So here's my whiteboard, just make sure you are able to see. So my first number sentence I'm going to give you is a really simple one, it's a one digit one. So I'm going to start with five, add four equals, right now I've got to work that out. So this one's a really simple one, so I'm just going to do that in my head quickly. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, so the answer is nine, okay. So I've got my three numbers. Now when we do a fact family, can you remember there needs to be one, two, three, four facts, okay? We also only use the same three numbers. So my next number sentence is going to look like this. So I'm going to do another add. So I've used a five and a four to get my answer of nine. Now if I'm doing an addition, my answer is always going to be the biggest number. So I'm going to put the number nine there because that's the biggest number. And all I'm going to do then is swap these two over and make a different number sentence. Five, add four is nine, four add five is nine. Okay, let's move on to doing some subtraction. So we've got here, subtraction number sentences. Now, when we're doing a subtraction, if you can remember, we're going to start with the biggest number because we're going to start with the most and take some away. So I've used my number nine, so I'm going to use my number four. I'm going to take away four and that's going to leave me with five. Again, on a subtraction, we start with the biggest number, but this time I'm going to swap these numbers round. So we're going to go five equals four. Okay, so that's just going through a quick fact family with you. So I'm going to rub that off. I'm going to give you a problem to solve now. I'm going to give you a number sentence to solve and then we're going to go through it together. So my number sentence is going to be 20 add 14 equals. Okay, now, the easiest way for me to work that out would be to use the formal method. If you can't remember the formal method right now, you can use a number line. So I'm going to show you on a number line quickly. So 20, and then I'm going to add, I'm going to partition this number. I've got my tens and my ones. So I'm going to add on one ten, which is going to give me 30, because 20 add 10 is 30. Then I'm going to add on four ones. One, two, three, four. Add one, add one, add one, add one. So 31, 32, 33, 34. So my answer is 34. So I've got my first number sentence in my fact family. 20 add 14 equals 34. So my second one should be quite easy to get because I'm going to, again, use the biggest number for my answer because I'm adding two numbers together. So all I'm going to do is swap these two around. So I've got 14 add 20. Can you see? I've got the same three numbers. Okay, now I'm going to move on to the subtraction. So again, using the subtraction, I'm going to use my biggest number first. So I'm going to put 34 here. Then I'm going to take away one of these two numbers. So I'm going to go 14 first, and that's going to leave me with 20. Now I can check this by doing a quick number line. Here we go, here's my number line. I'm going to put 34 at the end, and I'm going to partition this. Remember, tens and ones. I'm going to jump back one jump of 10, so take away 10. 
is going to be 24. Then I'm going to do my four ones. <coughs> so this is going to be take one, take one, take one, take one. So 23, 22, 21, 20. So my missing number is 20. So I am still right. So 34 again, because it's the biggest number. Now this time I took away 14, so this time I'm going to take away 20. And it's going to leave me with 40. Can you see how I'm checking my answers all the time to make sure that I am still correct? I'm not just guessing, but I am using those same three numbers because they are correct. Okay. Next thing. I'm going to give you a missing number problem. So if I were to give you this number sentence, 24 add something equals 35, what would you do? Now, for me, I've got to find out this number here. So I'm going to use my inverse to help me with that. So remember, the inverse is the opposite operation. So I'm going to start with 35. Now the opposite to an add is take away. Then I need to take away this number that I've already got, because I already know that, and I'm going to find out my answer. So again, I'm going to do my number line. I'm going to start here with 35. I'm going to think, right, what can I do? So I'm going to take away 10 because that's quite easy. So I'm going to take away a 10. And that's going to take me down to 30. Oh, 35. Right, but I need to get, sorry, it's not 35, it's 25. Silly Mrs Sutton. So then I'm going to take away some more because I'm not quite there yet. But I only need to take away one more. So I'm just going to do one more to get to my given number. So then I need to work out how much I've actually taken away. So I've taken away one jump of 10, so one, 10. And how many ones? One, one. So one, 10 and one, ones. So I get 11. So my answer is going to be 11. Now with those three numbers, you can then go on and write the rest of your fact family. So here, I'm just going to quickly write the fact family. So that's 35 take away 24 equals 11. Then I'm going to do 35 take away 11 equals 24. Then I'm going to start with the smaller numbers and add them together. So 11 add 24 equals 35 and 24 add 11 equals 35. Then what I'm going to just do quickly is I'm just going to check that addition. So here's an addition line. Yours will be straight, I'm hoping. So I'm going to start here with 24 and I'm going to add on 11. So one jump of 10 takes me to 34 and one one takes me to 35 and I am still right. So by using those three numbers, I've created four number sentences that I can use anytime I need and it will help me using all those facts that I have retained in my brain. Okay, I hope that's quite useful to you. I'm going to leave you one to be working on and I'd really love if you could show me some of your math skills and send them to me at my email address on the school website but I'm going to leave you with this. Have a quick look at this. I'm going to pin it there. Now this is what it looks like. So I've given you three numbers. You have to sort them out and give me two addition number sentences and two subtraction number sentences. Okay, I'm going to leave you with that and see how you get on.